Hello and welcome to Montana and another episode of Ice House Gold, I guess you'd call it. Uh, what am I doing today? Um, I'm out here running some beach concentrates again that I've been playing with. I got my sluice box set up, I got my feeder set up, and you might ask why I'm doing it. Well, as you know, I'm headed to Washington here in a little while to do some beach mining. Well, I have a feeling after I get home from six days of digging, which is planned, I'm going to have a buttload of concentrates to go through. Um, my original plan was just to run it through the Blue Bowl, but I watched the live stream of Washington Beach Mining this morning, and boy, did he bring up some good points, you know. He, that guy's got it down as far as... Uh, getting your material all down and going through the gold. I think he's got a pretty cool setup with the multi sluice and everything. Um, if you haven't seen his channel, um, go there and check it out. The guy's got it down. And also, you can see what kind of gold we'll be dealing with when we get back, hopefully. Hopefully, we'll do pretty good. We're also going to meet up with him down there in Washington while we're there, and also Ira. So, we'll be having a good time down there. So my plan is, is I'm going to start by running this through my hopper that I made and I want to just peel off the sand real, real slow, try and leave the gold behind. These are concentrates that Ira brought over to me. Uh, it's got, uh, it, it's concentrates from eight buckets of uh, beach sand. It's got some pretty good gold in it. I've been playing with it. So my idea is to see how far I can get it down with the sluice mat and catch it and then go through and maybe my cleanup sluice and then maybe the blue bowl. Because I don't want to spend two weeks when I get home from Washington cleaning up gold. So just an idea, kind of a mock-up run. Um, I'll get the camera and show you what we're doing. But uh, here's the concentrates I'm running. Not a ton. But if I could get it down to a couple cups, that would be pretty sweet. Here's my little hopper that I made where we'll just feed in the concentrates up here. And once I get it concentrated, we're just going to run it real slow. Run it through there. I've got some deep V matting silicone at the top. I've got uh, some uh, sawtooth matting down here. Then my little hopper I made. This thing is sweet. Uh, so think about this. I really like this. So we've got a couple hundred gallons an hour going down here And then we're going to add to it at about a quarter of the way down More gallons per hour Then we're going to come down here and add the full strength. I ran this last time. That was crazy and Nearly 90% of the gold ended up in the back of the, the hopper there. That wasn't with beach sand so We'll just go ahead and run this. This is my my Lego mat that I'm running. Well, I made out of silicone and Lego. Um, so far the results have been awesome with these things. Hopefully I can peel away the black sand and leave the gold. So on first inspection, we got quite a bit of gold right up here. I'm in the deep V mat I made out of silicone. And then all the way down through this sawtooth mat is just loaded with gold. So I'll get my camera right. There, you can see it now. I got the top tray out. And what I'm looking at is this is kind of how it acted last time. But I can see this black sand back here is just peppered with gold. So it's kind of still working like a fluid bed does. There's gold in here. There's gold down in here in these first few riffles. Um, this is also silicone mat I made. Let's see if I can get a picture. You can see the gold in there. Uh, but then I get down here and start looking in the, in the mat itself. I see a lot of black sand, but I'm not seeing any gold. I can't see one speck. Now, granted, it's probably down underneath that black sand. But from what we saw from the top tray to the hopper is pretty amazing. And these are all concentrates, so it's not even running like real beach sand. 
I plan on running this when I head to the beach along with the other four feet that I made. So we'll have a total of eight feet. All right, I'm re done running the tailings again for the second time. Um, I did everything, re-ran everything except for what was in the hopper. So I emptied the mats out, re-ran them again along with the tailings that were in the bucket. Um, so what do I see up here? I see very, very little gold. Um, get the camera right. I see, I don't know, 10 or 15 little pieces of gold in the top tray. So I feel pretty confident between the top of the hopper, the bottom of the hopper, and the sluice box mats. We pretty much got all the gold we're going to get out of those concentrates at this point. Oh, I'm, I'm loving this hopper. I know it looks redneck as heck, but it works, and it catches gold. So, I'm super excited about that. The mats I love. So, let me go ahead and get this cleaned out. Then I'll take the concentrates, and I will get the uh, sluice box set up with the gold nut gold rush nugget bucket underneath and we'll see if we can take these cons down a little bit further well i'm back i ran all the concentrates through the cleanup sluice i hope you can see that those lines of gold there um, i've got gold all the way down the sluice so yeah it did a pretty good job though i went ahead and took the little tub out of the bottom of the gold rush nugget bucket and just kind of swirled it around. These are the concentrates. But yeah, there's a few. Let's see, where did I see them? There's a few little specks of gold in there. There's one. But yeah, there's a little bit of gold in there that I can see. Not much at all. So I'm going to go ahead and clean this out. Um, I'm going to rerun what was in the little tub there from the Gold Rush Nugget Bucket. And... We'll run that again, and we'll see how much gold we can end up in the top of the mat there. So I'll be back. Okay, I ran the tub out of the Gold Rush Nugget Bucket there. And no lines of gold, that's for darn sure. Um, you probably can't see it. There's a few specks in there. I probably saw 20 or 30 little pieces. That's why I put it in the pan, just so I could tell. So I'm pretty confident I got most of the gold out of there. So, I'll go ahead and clean this up, and then I will be back, and I'll have the blue bowl set up. Okay, I'm back with the blue bowl all set up on top of the Gold Rush Nugget Bucket to check the tailings when we're done. Um, this is the first time I've used my $5 levelers since I made it, out of my scrap piece of plywood and some nuts and bolts and washers. Um, yeah, it works great. All the water's going right down the center of the hole, not slopping over. Of course, I made it so it'll fit on any bucket. I think it sure beats the plastics things they sell you when you buy it, so I'm pretty happy with that. Um, I got the uh, black sand or the magnetite out of the concentrates. So there it is. Why well, it's just red with garnets in there. So we'll get this all set up, and we will run it. Well, I got the last of the concentrates into the blue bowl. I'll just let that finish running down, and I'll uh, go ahead and scoop it all together and give you a picture of it. But, dang, I think I am ready to hit the beach now. I've got my cleanup system all dialed in to what I want to do when I bring the beach sand home. My hopper is made and working great. My 8 foot sluice is done with my silicone sluice box mats, that's done. I've got Iris Trommel built for him, so I think we are ready to go. Well there we have it, there is the end result. Uh, that's a pretty nice fine gold in there. Oh, I think I am ready and I can't wait to get to the beach and dig what? 15 20 buckets a day for six days that ought to be a lot of fun please don't forget to hit the subscribe button thanks for watching and we'll catch you next time bye now